Hello, my Sock Universe. I'm wearing another 2014 <laughs> jersey that I want. It actually won the World Cup for Germany. Um, they are the first team to qualify for uh, the quarterfinals of the, uh, the Women's World Cup. I actually did not really look forward to that game uh, between Germany and Nigeria because I pretty much knew how this would go. German, Germany would beat up on Nigeria and I actually was surprised. I uh, wanted to watch a little bit Africa Cup of Nations. I mean, Democratic Republic of Congo against Uganda. That would be a great game to watch if I could have watched it. Uh, at the moment they are showing all of the big boys at the Africa Cup of Nations. So, okay, let's watch that game. Uh, I joined in the 15th minute. And yeah, from that moment on the game got quickly out of hand. I mean, you could see that the Nigerian uh, women, they are robust. And I have to say, this was the other really great jersey match of matches as I saw. The white, all white Germany look against the dark green with the light green Nigeria. This is the one time that the green jersey looked actually good uh, on, on the pitch. And then the awesome backdrop of the mountains in Grenoble. I liked what I saw. I liked what I saw. Uh, but yeah, the game was quickly uh, done. I mean, uh, the first goal uh, came, I think, in the 20th minute. Let's check. Uh, just, yeah, 20th minute through Pop. It was a corner kick. Uh, Pop had had it in. There was a quick discussion if there was interference, but nope. Uh, there wasn't, so the goal was given. Uh, then shortly after a penalty given against Nigeria, Debrit steps up, makes it in a 27th to nil and basically that net game over. Nigeria then tried to a little bit, had got something going, but to be honest, never really was in the game. Right after they have had the biggest chance where an attacker just slides past it. And at that point then I said, okay, I saw the Nigerian women lose. Let's hope we see the Nigerian men uh, win. Gotta say though, the crowd, I like that the stadium was more or less full, not a big stadium, but that was what uh, that game deserved. And in the end, Schuller makes it uh, 3 0 in the 80 82nd, and Germany is on to the next round. And then in the evening, we had the other um, round of 16 matchup between Norway and Australia, which at the beginning I didn't watch because uh, I was watching Copa America. I was actually excited about that one. But when Brazil against Peru went out of hand, I quickly switched over and just missed the 1 0 for Norway through Herlofsen. What I could see in that game is that after that 1 0, Norway, despite Australia trying, Norway was very tight um, at the back uh, and actually controlled the game quite well. I think they were never really in danger of relinquishing that lead to me. Although Australia really tried and Sam Kerr. Um, had a few appeals for penalty or fouls. Um, actually, it was kind of in interesting. There was a penalty given for Australia. Then um, I think around the 40th minute, uh, with a potential handball, but you could see that the uh, ball is coming off the shoulders. Uh, multiple reviews, and in the end, yes, it was not uh, given as a uh, penalty. Then. Uh, I think they had a similar situation later on where also was not given. Um, what I didn't like is that Sam Kerr was constantly arg arguing with the ref. Australian second have really tried to um, go for goal and you could see Norway just uh, relied more or less on their very well structured defense, although they have quite some great players. Uh, Graham Hansen uh, most, um, the, being the most pro prominent of them. However, Australia gets the equalizer from a direct corner kick by Callum Knight. And then for just a brief few minutes, I really thought that Australia is pressing and trying to get something. And there was then the second part where a penalty. They really were uh, going for the win at that point. However, the biggest chance came from Hansen, who curled a shot onto the inside of the post and it goes almost parallel to the goal line and goes out. If that hits the other post, might hit the other Norwegian attack and that uh, ball might go in. To overtime it goes. In overtime, um, Norway at first is a little bit on the back foot, but then a red card, which, yeah, we don't need to discuss it. It was clearly uh, held back. Um, 
the Australian defense seemed shaky at that point. So uh, Norwegian attack, I think it was Hansen, uh, was held back. It's a red card for Norway. Shortly thereafter, Norway hits the crossbar from a shot. And Norway looks stronger, but just cannot find the breakthrough. Two penalties is goes. Norway shoots first. Hansen puts the penalty in. Kerr steps up and puts it a meter over goal. Reiten uh, makes it 2-0. Gilnick misses. Mjalde 3 0, and now if Caitlin uh, misses, then it uh, would be the shortest uh, possible penalty shootout. She makes it, but Engen makes it and puts Norway into the next round. So we have a second quarter finalist, uh, nothing really decided yet, but we have uh, Norway will play the winner of England Cameron, which will be played tomorrow. Whereas we need to wait a little bit more for the uh, opponent of Germany, which will be between Sweden and Canada, also an interesting matchup. Uh, we have England Cameroon, uh, the next two, and then of course, uh, kind of a clever matchup between France and Brazil. But you know, Brazil is not that great, but France Brazil that sounds like a true World Cup match. Let me know what you thought about the games uh, today. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.